Hi guys, Anne here, and today we have a little car vlog. I am on my way to an appointment. My, I have to be there at 8.30 this morning. Yeah, I'll probably be a little late because right now I'm looking, it's 8.17. <laughs> and I have to go to the next town over, so I'm a little, uh, I'll be a little late, but I, I called and left a message. Um, and maybe she, they're not at the office yet or whatever. Lexi's meeting me there, so we, we both have to take care of something. So that's good. Um, that's why I'm vlogging because she's not in the car. Um, today is Valentine's Day. I actually said it right. Usually I say it with the M, Valentine's. <laughs> I don't know why. You know, certain things I have to say slow. If I don't think about it, I'll say Valentine's with the M. Uh, like on my beauty channel, uh, sometimes I'll unbox the trend mood box. See, I had to say that slow because if not, if I just say it real fast, I say tread, tread mood. Like I want to say treadmill, you know? So it's like, I got to say, so it, it, it's so funny when I edit videos, it's like, cause I know I'm like, I wonder if anybody else can say when I say things slow, you know, like <laughs> anyway, um, I didn't know how I would feel because you guys know, um, I got divorced last month. And so I thought, even though when I was married, we never really celebrated Valentine's day or nothing like that. But I didn't know how I was going to feel because, you know, now I'm divorced, like it's over, but actually like, I feel good. I'm actually happier than when I was married because when I was married, I knew like he didn't really celebrate it. So I, I no cards, no gifts, which is whatever. I mean, you know, that's not really, you know, I'm not that person like, oh, I need to get a gift or anything like that. But, um, it would make me feel bad. So I'm, my point to that is like, so it's like, I feel good because I don't have to like, I don't know how to explain it, but I've always celebrated with my kids and I've always got them like, you know, something small, you know? And so I thought, you know what? I have some funny stories. I want to talk about my kids. <laughs> you guys are going to laugh your ass off. What just happened yesterday with two of them. Okay. Let's start off with Lexi. So Lexi had off yesterday, but she's been working a lot of doubles. I said this before, she works second shift and then she'll work the morning, and then the double will be from the seven to three or what have you, right? Um, but she had off yesterday. And so that night, the night before, she stayed over her boyfriend's house, right? So I, I thought, okay, well, she's not gonna be home till like very late, you know? Cause she told me, she was like, I won't be home till like two o'clock. And I was like, okay, in the afternoon. So, uh, me and Tyler, my oldest son, you know, we had to go out. So she was like, can you get me crickets? So let me tell, I'll tell you the story about Tyler first. Cause this is funny. Then I have to tell you about Lexi. So, you know, you know how I am when I get these stupid crickets. I only get 10 because that's all the most I can get. I don't even know how many she feeds the stupid thing, but she has a lizard and she has a ferret. Now, Lexi always liked, like, reptiles and different things, like, you know, uh, I mean, when she was little, she kept begging me for a snake all the time. I'm like, no. I have a picture of her when she was five years old, and we used to have the state fair, and they had this big, over five-foot snake, and she has it around her neck, and I'm like, oh, my God, she's one of those. <laughs> she would get this, uh, Gucci is the lizard's name. I mean, sometimes I just make her stop when she's around me. All of a sudden, she'll take something out of her pocket. And it's her damn lizard. I'm like, if, if she calls her son or her kids, you know, I'm like, now, <laughs> okay, but I'm scared of it, okay? I am not a lizard person. So, I know when she's working or what have you, I, you know, I don't mind if I'm already out, you know. Now, she's off and I don't, and I'm not going anywhere. Then I'm like, no, get your own team. <laughs> crickets but if I'm already going out and it's right in that plaza fine whatever so Tyler's with me and we go get 10 uh <laughs> crickets now let me tell you how Tyler is because I'm going to tell you each all of my kids they're all different all three of them Tyler was one of he was my firstborn and he was a baby he was a very like quiet good baby even toddler everything he was a type for hours he would play with his toy like you never had you sometimes you forget he was there because it's like oh yeah you know because he was so quiet and just a good good kid very like to himself like let me give you an, another example he was about four or five years old and i was staying at that time with my mom and grandma because me and his father had already broken up christmas day you know 
me, my mom, and grandma, we're all excited waiting for him to get up. And he comes downstairs, and the first thing he wants is chocolate milk. Yeah. At 28 years old, I'm still getting his damn chocolate milk. Okay. And he, so we get his chocolate milk because he is not a morning person. Okay. So take him a little bit to get up. I mean, what kid isn't coming downstairs on Christmas? He's all these gifts. And because he was the firstborn for me and the first grandchild. Like, so like, you know, my, whatever. I mean, that didn't face him. What kid do you know? Like, so he's drinking his chocolate milk, watching cartoons. It was like an hour and a half later that me, we're, now me and my mom and grandma were anxiety. Come on, we're excited. <laughs> then he starts opening up the gifts and then he's getting excited. So he is one of those very laid back, not like, you know, but he also has another side to him. So like, he don't play when it comes to his family, this, that, like, I, I don't know one person that dislikes my son, you know, because he's quiet. He, I've never even heard him gossip or talk about anybody ever, ever, you know, he's just that type of person, but you know, there's another side that protective. He feels the protective, like with me, his sister, his family, you know, like that. Okay. So I just want you to understand this. So he is <laughs> quick, like, you know, so we go get the crickets. He's holding the bag because I, I wanted to drive. He's scared of these crickets, okay? And I'm like laughing because if you just know my son. So we, we, again, this has happened before, okay? This is why I know. He's like, I'll cut the bag because, you know, then you, you put the crickets in the cricket feeder and then you got to buy food for the crickets, <laughs> all right? Because I, I didn't want to like put it in, you know, I figured when she came home, she could feed her lizard, okay? So me and Tyler always had this plan like, okay, Hole open, pop a, a hole in the bag. Um, because when they put the crickets and then they put this cardboard or something in it, and then, then with the bag, like they do goldfish, you know, it's like that with the air, like a bag. And he was like, I'll dump the crickets in and you hurry up and put that lid on because you know, we're scared if it jumps out, you know, or whatever, like that. So I'm like, okay. So he pops the thing, he puts the stuff in. I put the lid on, I almost hit his finger because I did it so fast, he hardly moved, right? And we're like, okay, good. Tyler was like, oh my God. And I'm like, what? He was like, there's still two crickets. Because <laughs> I get muscle under the cardboard. I'm like, <laughs> you know. So as we're doing this, here comes Lexi. And she's like, what's going on? And we tell her, a biggest day. She takes the two crickets that's left like this <laughs> with her hand and puts it in the thing. You know, now of course she went and washed her hands. And me and Tyler are like, <laughs> But I laughed, I, I haven't laughed that hard. You ever have like get that good laugh that your stomach's hurting and you're crying, like just tears coming down because you can't stop laughing. Because if you knew my son and how scared he was with these stupid crickets, oh my God, I thought I could not help myself. <laughs> I'm still, like, if I wasn't driving, oh my God, I'd be laughing even harder just thinking about it. If that was a sight like... If I had to record it, you know, it would go viral because it's it, it, like, oh my God. It's like, there's two crickets. Oh God, thank God Lexi walked in at the right time because we were like, now we got to open the lid. What if they jump out? <laughs> oh my God, it was so funny. I don't know why we didn't just think the two had just put it in the thing, but we're both like scared of it. So that was so funny. Oh my God, that just made my day. Like, when you haven't laughed like that in a while. So. I, I love that kid, Tyler. He is the type of child, like, he don't let me carry bags. If I'm going grocery shopping, I just get out the car and he comes, you know, if he sees me carrying anything, he's like, Mom, what are you doing? I don't even carry, like, my hamper, like, my clothes up and down the steps. Now, I'll put them in the washer and the dryer, but, like, I leave them there and he'll bring them all the way up into my room. Like, he don't let me carry, or his sister, Lexi, either. Isaiah, he's like, you do it yourself. But, no, he... he will not let Lexi carry anything either. He's very, very good that way, you know, but he's also not like me because he's very like, not stingy with his money. You guys know he helps me all the time, but like, he's very smart with his money. <laughs> he don't spend it unless he has to. Where like me and Lexi, we have like a hole in our pocket. We're like, oh, let's go here, let's go here, which I'll explain in a minute what happened. Um, and so, um, and he's very like with math very very like especially when it comes to money you know how nowadays the new generation like you don't have to think if you're a cashier you know the the thing tells you everything for you you know um you know he'll like add it up in his head he's like no no you know he's very good that way and he thinks very logically 
Um, so that's that. <laughs> You know, I used to say, you know, like sometimes like, I, I, you know, I had him so young because so we basically grew up together, right? I was 18 when I got pregnant, still a teen mom, even though I was an adult legally, right? But just still a kid, you know? Um, I always thought, oh man, I, you know, I wish I could have gave him a better life. You know, I told you I raised my kids in the projects and different things. But now it's like, I, I, I've said this before, God does everything for a reason. And I'm so glad he came into my life. Like, I really, I don't know what I would do without him. All right, so let's talk about Lexi. Lexi was so different. So when I had Tyler, I said he was very, very calm. Okay? When I had Lexi, that was a... Well, first of all, I was pregnant with twins, you know, Lexi. I have Lexi. Um, Lexi was not calm. She was very hyper. Very, very, very hyper. It would be... I'm not kidding. Two, she was two, three years old. It would be four in the morning, and I'll never forget one day... I'm like, what is this noise? I hear this, like, jumping. I'm like, what the hell is she doing? She took her uh, sheets off, and she took her fitted sheet, okay? She tied it one end to her closet doorknob, the other end to her door. She opened the doors, and she was jumping rope with it. I mean, this is how bad it was. And I kept taking her to the doctor, and the doctor would say, it's behavior, it's behavior, it's behavior. And I'm like, no, there's something different because unless Tyler was just exceptionally good, you know, I'm like, no, this is this is something totally different, you know? I mean, she, she was up at like five in the morning, six in the morning, hi, mommy, like all happy. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, well, let me have my coffee, you know, um, very loud, you know, um, and stuff and very friendly and um just you know i didn't just way different <laughs> where tyler like i said he was like by himself you know to himself he, tyler's more of an introvert where lexi's you know was a lot like me that way so when she started going to school that's when the school got involved in the child study team and that's when the doctor started to get involved like and then she was diagnosed at, uh, with a specialist at having adhd now she shared this before um, which is the best thing for her has helped her. So I want to talk about ADHD and with the child. And it, that, I think actually that's a great thing. If you're a kid, you know, as a parent, sometimes you're like, oh, but it was, it's the best thing for her. And I'll explain. I'm almost at this place. So, um, uh, when I get out, I will, um, come back and talk to you guys about Lexi. Cause since I, like I said, it's Valentine's Day. I just want to talk about the loves of my life. All right. I'll be right back. Well, I lied when I'm trying to fix my pocketbook. I had to park at a parking garage because usually in the front, they have a lot of, um, like parking and stuff. Now, I'm like, oh, this is what I hate because when I walk this like long distance, um, I start getting like short of breath, you know, so that's when I like if I see a handicap I will use the handicap. I have to park so far because you guys know um, I don't use my handicap like it used to me when I go to the stores I'll park, park all the way down because I'm okay. I just use it for days. I'm having trouble breathing shortness of breath uh, You know all that kind of stuff Well, I have a whole bunch of bags and like I just can't carry you know something like that but anyway so I have to walk, which is fine. Walking's good, but it's freezing. Uh, we had this really bad, I came here yesterday, but uh, by the time I got there, they closed early because they're the storm for the Northeastern because it was snowing yesterday. But look at this, not a damn snow drop at all, um, which is good, but it is freezing. And I just have this thin, I have a shirt on of course, but I have this, um, very thin uh, hoodie on. I don't know why I didn't think, like, what if you have to walk? Oh God, my arm's getting tired. That's because I have this heavy ass pocketbook. I carry everything but the kitchen sink in there. Oh Lord, it's freezing. I have to tell you a funny story. So you guys know I wear like hair pieces, ponytails and stuff. And it was so windy and stuff yesterday when I was going somewhere I was holding like this. I thought, can you imagine if my hair just, and just picture this, it's raining and snowing at that time windy and i'm trying to walk fast to get somewhere and i'm like walking real fast so like i'm speed walking like this praying please don't let my hair fly oh my god it was the funniest thing all right i'll see you guys when i get back 
Okay, so I'm just getting out of my appointment. It's like almost 12 o'clock. Lexi had just left. Um, she's got to get ready to go to work. So she's like, I'm hungry. I'm going to go get something to eat. Anywho, this is like the best Valentine's Day gift ever. So um, everything's going good today. So let me walk to the parking garage and uh, we'll start chatting again. Just finish talking about my kids and then... You know, I think I, do I have to go to Walmart? I don't remember. I, I just know I'm hungry. I'm hungry myself. Cause I, I'm not a morning person. Like I'll have my coffee, but I can't eat when I first wake up. And who the heck knows what's gonna be? Me and Alexa were gonna be in there for so long. Not I, said the fly. All right, I'll be back. I just used my, uh, what do you call it? Wipes, sanitary wipes. It is exactly 1241. I mean, it's late on the I thought. No wonder why I'm hungry. Well, I'm always hungry. Um, it seems like every time I go out and vlog, I'm like going to fast food. I promise I don't eat fast food like that. I've been doing really, really good with my diet. Really, really good. Uh, okay. I hate coming to this town. I hate it. This is where, you know, I used to always get in trouble back in the 90s. So it gives me anxiety. Let me go to, let me see where I want to eat. I don't know. Um, let me go left here. Um, so I was talking about Lexi with her ADHD and stuff. You know, Lexi was my child. Like I've said before, I can say it at four o'clock in the morning. Come on, let's go out to eat. I've never done that. That or, oh, I'm at a blinking light. What the hell's wrong with me? Um, I, I'm thinking it's a red light. And, um, she'd be like, okay. I had Lexi in sports and she was little. She was in competi competition cheerleading. When you're in competition cheerleading, you must put your child in gymnastics, right? Uh, I had her in track to keep her like, so she'd be tired when she went home. Um, when she got into high school, I had her play tennis and all, you know, all that type of stuff. But she was always, I, 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 she was in hip hop, dance, ballet, like everything you can think of. I think the competition cheerleading is a little rough because you're traveling and different things. But like you have, if you have a child in cheerleading, you have to put them in. Like I've always said, like with Isaiah, with baseball, if they're in one sport, you have to put them in other sports to get better at that one sport. You can't just be like, okay, you're playing baseball. Okay, you're playing football. Well, if you're playing football, you need to put them in track a ASAP. They need to be in track to learn how to sprint and run faster and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Um, wrestling, you know, like all different things to get them better at that one sport. Um, anyway, what was my point? So, oh, so we were always out and did a lot of things so she didn't go to sleep, you know? But it made her who she is today. She's so lovable and likable. She'll talk to anybody, um, you know, and it's just, it, it's been a blessing that she has it. It made her who she is. She's very outgoing and the only thing is she could be a little loud, like, you know, Alexi's own, you know, or <laughs> come back, the drawers are open or what have you, or I don't know. Um, but I love that about her. Uh, Let's see. Isaiah, he's the one I'm like, is he, if he didn't look like me, I would say, is this really my kid? If I didn't have a DNA test with his father, like, what? Is he mine? He, he's a good kid too. Very quiet. He's the sports um, person. Like, I, Tyler, you know, he played um, basketball, but he wasn't all into sports like Isaiah. Isaiah is my book smart nerd. You know what I mean? Building his own computers. I've showed you guys pictures of the computers he built from scratch. Um, like gaming computers and all that kind of stuff. Um, just very, very um, smart. And but he's quiet too. But he's very respectful. He, I, I've never really seen him even mad too many times. You know what I mean? He hates to be late, even for school. It's like he had to be there on time or he gets anxiety. Now, I'm like that now when it comes to appointments, but in school, like, I didn't care if I was late or anything like that, you know? Not him. He was, he's very like that. Um, so, I like, a lot of things, I'm like, is he my kid? He don't get in trouble. He's never been suspended, had a detention. He's, he's never been late to school. Like, you know, uh book smart like you know knows building these things I'm like you know anyway 
but they're my kids. I'm the love of my life, and I'm happy I get to spend the day with them. Let me get me something. I I am starving. Ooh. Um, can I get a number six with um cheese and lettuce and that's it? No mayonnaise or anything? Okay. That's it. It's ready for tea. Thank you. You're welcome. 15 Jesus for one meal. I got my wet one again because I don't know. My hands, I, even though I just did it, but it's like I gotta eat so because I'm starving. I usually like to keep cash on me, but to pay my debit card. Ever since my daughter, I know the son is there. I'm getting all confused here. Do you ever guys ever get like that? It's like, I hope I don't see anybody I know because, like, you don't feel like talking. Even though I'm a talker and I'm a people person, you know, sometimes you just don't <laughs> see people. That's where I'm at right now. Probably because I'm hungry and I'm getting cranky. That's probably what it is. All right. I literally scarfed down. I had a chicken, a spicy chicken sandwich. My sugar must have been dropping, too, because I felt myself getting, um like, cranky. But, like, I won't eat my fries. I had a few of them, even though they're good, but... It's too much. It'll get me nauseous, you know, like. Anyway. Um, I got to go home. And I got to film. I have a, for my beauty channel. I have a couple unboxings. I have a mystery box that I need to do. And I think my new gaming chair came in. I got a new, like, computer chair, but they consider it a gaming chair. And then on the sides like this, it has those LED lights. The colors and stuff. I'm so excited. Um that'll come in and yeah I think that's about it this is just gonna be a short vlog I just wanted to say happy Valentine's Day to you see I said times times to you I had to get out let me know do you guys celebrate Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day you know like with your friends or like if you're in a relationship or what you know uh, like let me know you have any plans or anything like that and yeah, I'm just gonna make it short and sweet I'm tired. Your girl's been up early. And I've also been the type of person that if I know I have to get up early, like I, even though I set my alarm, I can't sleep. So I'm constantly looking. And I'm a night owl anyway. It's 2, 3, 4 in the morning. I'm like, all right, Ann, you got to take your ass to bed. You got to get up in a couple hours. But I'm steady like looking like every 20, 30 minutes to make sure I didn't oversleep. Um, and so I'm, your girl's tired. So I'm going to get off of here. And um, yeah, please thumbs up this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Commenting really does help out with engagement. And um, yeah, stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, and most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.